Welcome back, Digital Daredevils. Today, we're diving into Sonic the Hedgehog's world. Sonic the Hedgehog with a need for speed and a peculiar addiction to gold rings. Unlike Mario's leisurely strolls, Sonic needs momentum. Sometimes he even backtracks to build speed. It's like, well, it's not like anything else. It's just Sonic being Sonic. First things first, here is a beginner player showing us today's level our AI will have to ace. Let's start Jack from scratch. His repertoire, left, right, jump, duck, and roll. A veritable virtuoso of virtual movement. Look at that, he's mastered right and jump. Let's try 12 parallel learning sessions in the background. Because if at first you don't succeed, try 11 more times simultaneously. After a few hours of training, we got nothing useful. Jack's as confused as a chameleon in a bag of Skittles. See, Jack is seeing both paths at the same time confusing him. Let's simplify his view so he can only see the active path. Jack's bouncing around like he's on a hidden trampoline. This kills his momentum and he can't make it up the steep hills. Time for some small negative reinforcement for each jump. He's done it! Alert the media! Or don't, they probably have more important things to cover. He's glitching through the double pathways. Let's keep only the active path visible. Now on to his biggest challenge. This one's a head scratcher. Even as a player, I'm not sure how to tackle this. Let's just ask Sonic to fill the hole. Sorry, level designers. Okay, back on track with a bit of cheating. But isn't that what machine learning is all about? Let's have another run and see if Jack is able to reach the last checkpoint. One more double path to fix and give him a bit more time to learn. If 
he keeps going right, he'll be too slow to kill the enemy and make it up the hill. He needs to first backtrack left, hit that speed bumper and set off again. We'll set up a checkpoint with rewards. It's not bribery, it's motivation enhancement. We've also set the speed bumper a bit closer to make things easier. A good strategy in machine learning is to make it simple until he understands, then gradually adding difficulty by moving it away. Next is killing the enemies. Well, Jack's rolling through this one. Who knew our digital disaster had a talent for demolition? Now, he's mastered the last checkpoint. Let's send him through the full course and see where he's at, shall we? Notice how he has learned that if he's too slow, he needs to roll back down to pick up speed. He's doing great, but still being a bit too slow. The time limit is set to 45 seconds. He now almost makes it to the finish line. Let's give him another chance. He's doing much better this time. Still not optimal speed, but he's able to reach the finish line at the 35 seconds mark. We'll give him more time to train. Let's have Jack's 11 twin clones run alongside to finish his training. Now, before the full course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support turns Jack's silicon dreams into digital reality. He's definitely doing better than the average player. Only very few mistakes in the full course. Twenty-seven seconds. From zero to hero, Jack's now faster than a rumor in a small town. I hope you enjoyed this pixelated adventure. Next up, Boxing or Doom? Head to the community tab and decide Jack's fate. Either way, it'll be a knockout or a bloodbath or both. Until next time, keep your processors cool and your frame rates high.